This is video three in my tutorial series on how to build a website with the Beaver Builder theme. In this video, we're gonna adjust the settings for the theme and for the plugin to get the general look of our website. This is gonna make it really easy for us to build pages because all of the basic looks of our website are already gonna be predefined. If you wanna start this tutorial series from the beginning, you can click the eye icon at the top of the screen. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start by configuring the basic settings for the Beaver Builder plugin. So from the dashboard of your website, go to settings, and then page builder, and this was the setting that was added by the Beaver Builder page builder plugin. And then the one thing that I like to do on here is to go over to post types, and then click on posts here. And that's gonna make it so that we can use the Beaver Builder page builder to also build our posts as well as our pages. And then go ahead and click on save post types. Now let's go and adjust the basic look of our site with the theme settings. So there's uh, two places where we can do that, and uh, the Beaver Builder theme uses the WordPress customize function. So you can either go to Appearance, Customize here, and that will take you to it. Or if you're on the um, front end of your website doing something already and you want to customize something, you can just click on the Customize button up here. So the first thing I like to do is I like to add the logo of my website so I can see how the logo is going to look with all the other changes that I make. So to add the logo, we go to header, and we go to header logo, and then we uh, want to choose an image, and then we're going to go ahead and select an image. We're going to upload an image file, and then we're going to use this fire and effects logo right here, and uh, this is the logo that I created for this fictitious company. We go ahead and do choose image. So there we go, and now you can see that it's changed up here to the logo of our image. And that's the great thing about this um, new WordPress customizer functionality is that um, the themes that use this functionality allows you to have this sort of instant preview of what the changes that you've made um, are going to look like. Now I have found, um, just so you know, it seems to work really well with the Beaver Builder theme, but other themes, if you're using the customize function, you might not see the changes happening here even though they really have changed. So you just do save and publish and then close out of it and then you can just you know, see whether the change actually took effect. So let's go ahead and just save that change there by clicking save and publish at the top. And this logo here, um, I made it 150 picks by 50 picks uh, tall, so 150 picks wide by 50 picks tall, and the size of the logo that you upload is going to have an effect on the size of your menu and um, header section here, so do keep that in mind. So now let's go back and we're just going to go through um, the settings one by one. Um, we've got these presets here, and um, sort of it is one way of getting an idea of the different kind of looks that you can get for your website. It's going to show some of the things, you know, like so this is one of the menu structures you can do where you've got your logo up here, um, a text area here, and then the menu down below. This one here's got the um, logo in the center and then the menu down below. So this is just, you know, you can sort of click through these, see different um, varieties of the menu settings. Um, but I like to do my own, my own settings, so we're just going to set this back to default. Um, do be really careful with this preset settings, because if you change any settings down here and then adjust the preset, it's going to erase all of the changes that you made down here. So do keep that in mind. So let's go over to the General tab. And um, let's go ahead and change the background color. So for this site, I wanted to have that dark color look, so I'm just going to change it to black, which is the hex code of 0000. And I'm going to do Save and Publish. You don't have to do Save and Publish every time. Um, I just like to do it just so that I, I don't get distracted and go to something else and then forget to save changes and have a bunch of changes that I've added in and not have them be saved. Now for the accent color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the color from this uh, logo here so that it matches, um, so that the text over here matches the logo and sort of the highlight colors like these down here match the logo. And I've got a quick tutorial that will show you how to do that. Um, if you click on the little card or the eye icon at the top of the screen, it will um, take you to that tutorial on how to find the hex code for any image. So I've already got the hex code for this. So I'm just going to paste that in here. So there you can go, you, you can already see that it's made a, a change there. Then we're going to change the hover color to the same color, just like they did in their example. Then do Save and Publish. And then we'll go back here to the general and then do headings. And then for the headings, um, we don't want this to be a dark color because our website's going to be a dark color already. So we're going to change this to a light gray color. I'm going to use um, E8, E8, E8 for my light gray color. And I'm going to change the font family to uh, one of the Google fonts, which comes as part of the Beaver Builder theme already. It's really convenient. A lot of themes are doing that these days, and it really makes your life easy to have all these different um, great-looking 
fonts at your disposal. So I'm going to use the Latto theme here. And then I also like to make the font sizes of all of these um, a little bit bigger. So I'm going to adjust the font sizes up by four for all of these. I want to make you know the fonts easy to read for our for our viewers when they come to our site. Okay, I'm going to do save and publish. We'll go back, and then let's change the color of our text. So in the text color, I'm going to choose a slightly different color from the heading color. I'm just going to paste that in here. And now we can't see it right here because we haven't made the um, background of this section uh, black yet, but we're going to do that in just a minute. And again, let's uh, bump the font size up um, by... I think just two here is probably fine. And save and publish. Okay, now we can go back. And the header. So now the top bar layout um, is going to add a top bar up here um, where we can choose where we, if we want to have text up there, text and social icons. We haven't configured the social icons yet, so they're not, not showing up. Um, we can just have a menu up there. And in this particular example, I'm not going to use any of those, but if you wanted to have one or two columns of additional information at the top of your website, you could do that with the top bar um, layout, and then the top bar style will adjust the colors for that. Let's go ahead and look at the header layout. Um, I like this setup right here. We've got the navigation on the right and the logo on the left, but if you wanted to change that, you've got all of these options right here. I like to uh, bring the padding down for this to just 10. Um, that way the header and menu section of my website doesn't take up too much space. This is going to be the space along the top and along the bottom of the um, logo and your menu. This is going to be the heading, uh, heading section. And then if you want to keep your header um, at the top of the window all the time, so as your viewers scroll down, the menu is always there, um, you've got these different options. You can either have it fade in, shrink, or fixed. Um, so that means it doesn't change the size. I like to have it shrink so it just gets a little bit smaller as uh, the viewers scroll down. So we're going to go ahead and set that and then do save and publish. And now we're going to adjust the colors uh, for the header section. So we're going to use black for the colors because that's the, the color that we're using for this menu. You can choose if you want to um, change the opacity and so then as you scroll down it's going to change the opacity. It won't, I think it actually does change the opacity um, up here, but if you have like if you want to have that image look with the opacity, you can't just use this to get that in. Um, in a later video, I'll show you how you can accomplish that using some um, custom code. And then the text color, I'm gonna make white, and then the link color, I'm gonna make the same color as uh, I did with the the text up there, the text and the logo. Go ahead and paste that in there. So now you can see that these uh, links up here are that color. And I'm going to change this uh, hover color to white, to white here. And now when we hover over, you can see that uh, these turn white. It's a nice uh, contrast uh, in colors. OK, and we'll do Save and Publish. We already did the header logo. And then we've got the um, navigation layout. So you can um, enable or disable the search, I search icon if you want to. Um, you can also have uh, the on mobile view. When the screens are smaller, you can choose to have either a menu button or the hamburger icon. The hamburger icon are those three lines that you get to sh um, as an icon to show what the menu is. So the settings are fine. And then finally, the nav style. I'm going to say set this uh, font to to Source Sans Pro. I'm going to just bump the font size up by two just to make it a little bit easier to read. Do save and publish there. And so you can see it's um, how important it is to just go through these settings first, get the colors that you want, and then you can you know, start to see your website taking place already just by having the right colors on there. And you know, I think I forgot something in the general here. I think under text, I also wanted to change the font to the Source Sans Pro just so that it all matches and looks nice. So go ahead and do that. There we go. Now we've got the header um, all set up, and then the content. So the content uh, background, and this is going to be the background color for like your blog posts, um, and if you've got if you're using WooCommerce or some other plugin that has a specific um, content background type, it might also use this as the default background color. So for this, we want to use black because that's what this website's going to look like. And then we can do save and publish. So there you can go. You can already see that this website is um, 
sort of getting transformed. And the blog layout, um, this actually happens to be the blog page because by default, WordPress starts your home page as a blog page, and we're going to change that um, in the next video. But one thing I don't like is um, how wide the default sidebar is. So I just want to change that from large to small. And then um, if, for your blog posts, you have got these options here, whether you want the author visible, the date visible, or the, or the comment count visible. Let's go ahead and do save and publish. And then um, if you're using other post types, like if you're using the WooCommerce um, to create an online store, you can change the, the layout settings here for that. And then the footer is this section down here. Um, right now it's got this uh, Beaver Builder walkthrough attribute. Um, but if you don't want to uh, promote Beaver Builder on your website, which is completely understandable, um, you can actually, there's actually a really easy way to do that. And that is right here under footer layout. If you just start entering in some text here, you can see that it, um, you can see that it um, adds it to the footer of your website. So let's just go ahead and add in our copyright information here. And for the copyright symbol, if you want to add that in, you can use the ampersand, copy, and then semicolon, just like that. And then you can see that that uh, shows up down there. So let's go ahead and adjust the footer style. So we're going to make the background color a dark gray. The 33333 um, gray color. I'm going to change the text color to white, just so it's easy for our viewers to see. I'm going to change the link color to our default uh, color that we've been using from the logo here. I'm going to do the same thing with the hover color here too. Actually, I'm going to change the hover color to white for this. And we don't have any menu items down here, so there's no links showing up. But um, if we added a menu down here, which you can do, um, then the links would show up. Okay, and then we'll do save and publish. Then if you wanted to add widgets to the footer, you can do that, and this is how you would style those widgets. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm not going to cover the use of widgets, uh, but just so you know, that's where those settings are. And then the next thing we want to do is um, add in our social media icons, because a lot of people like to use social media, and it's a great way to promote your website and what you're doing. And so we, to add the social links, you click on social links up here, and then we've got a choice of whether you want it to be monochrome, or branded, and so branded means that each of the icons is going to have the default color of that social media thing. So, for example, Facebook is going to be blue, YouTube is going to be red. Um, I like the monochrome; it's going to use the highlight color uh, for our website. So, you can either just uh, paste in your social media links, just like this. Here's my Facebook link, real website hints, my Twitter link, real website hints my YouTube link, which is down here at the bottom somewhere. And then if you just want to see what it looks like just for your for your own sake, you can actually just use a hash in here. So just like this. And that'll show, show up in the different sections where the social media icons are. So let's go ahead and add some social media icons to the footer so we can see the social media icons showing up. So to do that, just go to footer, footer layout. And then instead of choosing just text, if you choose um, text and social icons, it'll use this section here plus uh, the social icons, um, and it'll be centered. And if you wanted to add two columns, then you can choose um, what shows in column one and what shows in column two. So for this, I'm just going to use the one column. And then make sure you push Save and Publish up here, and then we can close out of this. And there we go. That's a quick look um, at how to adjust the settings for the Beaver Builder theme and Beaver Builder plugin. And you can see what a big difference that makes in the look of our website already. In the next video, we're going to build the home page for our website. I'm going to show you exactly how to use the Beaver Builder plugin to create great layouts for your home page and a couple of tricks that I've learned along the way. If you're ready to start that video, go ahead and click on the next video button. If you want to start this whole tutorial series from the beginning, go ahead and click the start from beginning button. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the best easy to use tips and tricks for building websites.